Our newsroom has been contacted by people with questions about what should and shouldn't be open at this time. Consumer investigator Sasha Jones breaks down what's considered essential in the recent emergency order. Sasha? That's right. We're here at a shopping plaza in Pembroke Pines where many of the stores are closed, but not everything is closed. Restaurants are still open. Restaurants are considered to be essential. They're just one type of business on a very long list of businesses that can stay open. At Independence Title in Fort Lauderdale, it's business as usual, with a few added precautions. We did lock our office to the general public. We do have a cart that people can leave, basically a mailbox. If someone comes up to the door, we open the window and talk to them. Business is booming. So a lot of these deals are trying to close. There are lenders that are working that want to, to fund deals. They are one of the few businesses still able to operate after emergency orders. From both Broward County and Miami-Dade County issued the closure of all non-essential businesses. But owner Kevin Thatcher says it took some research to figure out if they could be open. Really trying to figure this out day by day every time someone issues something new as to whether we're allowed to be open, not allowed to be open. And he wasn't the only one with questions. Our NBC6 news team has received phone calls from viewers questioning if construction sites like this one in the city of Miami should be operating. The quick answer is yes. Both the construction site that we went to and Kevin's title company are allowed to operate. However, knowing what's allowed to operate and not allowed to operate goes beyond just the county's executive order. You also have to pay attention to any orders issued by the city that you live in. If you are a business owner and and, and your city is saying to you that you have to shut down, that you would have to shut down in that city. Broward County Commissioner Dr. Barbara Sharif points out that health care providers, pharmacies, grocery stores, and gas stations can still operate, along with a long list of other businesses too, like banks, hardware stores, contractors, and child care services. And when it comes to regulation, Sharif says businesses that are non-essential are being asked to close. We've seen in some cities where the police officers are driving around knocking on doors and saying, you know, you're considered a non-essential business, please close. And according to Broward County's emergency order, any business with less than five employees can remain open. As long as they're not open to the general public, they can still go into work. And they also have to follow the guidelines set by the CDC. Reporting live in Pembroke Pines, Sasha Jones, NBC6 News.